Capricorn. Hey Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. And this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Capricorn placement. Keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with every single Capricorn out there. So the first message we have here is, wow, we have you know too much. Okay. So there's a masculine in your energy field that is really shocked by your level of awareness when it comes to them divine feminine this is someone who began to study you a long time ago simply because they were really fascinated with your energy but i'm getting that recently something about you is making them a little suspicious your person is beginning to realize that you know way too much about them okay and the way the energy is coming through, this is much deeper than you just being intuitive. There's something very effortless about the way you engage your person. Almost like you can read their mind and tap into exactly what it is that they want, okay? This is a masculine who is very attracted to you on every level as well. The things that you do and say to them really make them pause and question who you really are. This connection I'm picking up on has a high level of physical and emotional chemistry. But as they sit back and kind of allow things to unfold, they're realizing that you have the ability to see directly through them. And honestly, this is making them feel a little uncomfortable because they've never experienced this before. The energy coming through here is very spiritual so this is picking up on things that only they should know about themselves, okay? What's interesting though is instead of pulling away from you, whatever it is that you know about them is making them want to draw closer to you at this time. I just got, I can't let you go very clearly, okay? So if you've ever wondered what's keeping this masculine connected to you, I'm getting specifically that it's what you know about them. So this is deeper than the surface. This is tapping into a part of themselves that they have not openly shared with you. So this is their deep desires, their wants and their needs, okay? You may not be aware of this divine feminine, but this masculine feels bonded to you in a way that they can't really control. Meaning that they feel as if they're unable to disconnect from this connection. And the way their energy is coming through, maybe they've tried to in the past, okay? This is someone who's always felt like this connection with you has a lot of layers to it. And maybe it's a little difficult for them to even define it at this time. I'm also getting that they've tried several times to put you in a specific category and they were unsuccessful because they can't really place your energy, okay? This is someone who may also test you a lot just to see how much you know about them. And the things that you do and say completely blow their mind, okay? This is tapping into a level of chemistry that literally feels unreal to them. And your person is really having a hard time turning away from you because you are literally tapped into a deeper level of information about them. And this is making you stand out in a major way. It feels like they have tunnel vision right now and you have you have become their focus, okay? I'm getting very lighthearted energy with this card. It's almost as if they're saying this to themselves in a really sarcastic manner. But if you're wondering how they're viewing you, they feel like you know way too much, okay? And because of this, it's like their spirit or their soul is kind of drawn to you at this time. So you may definitely feel their energy a lot at this time, okay? It's because they're really curious to know what it is that you know. And this is really pulling them closer to you day by day. Let's get the next message here. Yeah. So the next message we have here is, I get lost in your eyes. This is a very passionate type of energy as well. Very, very, very raw energy coming through here. So this may be a very specific message because this absolutely feels directed to a particular divine feminine. And this is tapping into very intimate details about your connection. 
Whatever is taking place in your connection right now, it honestly feels way deeper than you both may understand at this time. There's something that your souls know that you both may not be aware of. But the energy coming through with this card here is your person letting you know that the eye contact with you is unlike anything they have ever experienced. It's almost as if there's another version of them, one that deeply knows you and feels very familiar to you. So this need to be close to you at this time is actually their higher selves coming towards you and wanting to have a higher exchange with you. Because what happens when they look into your eyes, Divine Feminine, is that their ego takes a back seat. And there's only this real raw dialogue from their soul to your soul. But there's so much expressed when looking into your eyes that it makes them nervous about what's actually being revealed to you. They feel very, very exposed at this time, okay? And this is why they're worried about what you know. Because this form of communication is something that they've never engaged in before, okay? It feels as if you're actually activating a part of them that feels hidden or even sacred. <laughs> yeah, this feminine energy that I'm picking up on, there's something very special about you and your person can feel this. And they want you to know that there are times that they can't even look at you without feeling intense emotions. Even when the moment doesn't call for an emotional reaction, it just instantly happens and they can't really control it. This makes them question everything about this connection and it really pulls on them emotionally in a way that they can't really put into words, okay? This is someone who wants you to know that looking into your eyes makes them feel incredibly vulnerable. It's almost as if all the things that they're not ready to say easily gets exposed through the eye contact with you. So they may even avoid this at times, okay? And they do this in order to control the level of access that you have to them and the level of information that is exchanged energetically when you both lock eyes, okay? Let's get the next message here. Okay, so the next message here is, I like you, okay? Yeah, this masculine that you are connected to is in a very high vibrational energy, okay? Because when this card comes out, it points to a masculine energy that loves you, okay? But for some reason, it's very important to them that they like you as well. And your person wants you to know that there is a difference. So when your masculine says, I like you, they want you to have a deeper understanding of how they are viewing you at this time. This is a respect thing here, which is ranked very high on their list. They view you as another soul, divine feminine. They see you and they relate to you, okay? This is someone who is highly invested in who you are right now in this moment and also who you will become in the future. And when it comes to the masculine energy in general, they often view love as something that they do, okay? It's an action word to them. And when it comes to feminine energy, you often identify love as just who you are. Your person is someone who naturally had this deep desire to learn you, okay? So they pay close attention to you. And you do a lot of things that catch your person off guard, but in a good way. They may have even come into this connection feeling like they knew where this was going to go, but your energy has taken them into a completely different direction and they actually like it, okay? They like everything about you and they don't really understand how or why, okay? This, this is someone who is intrigued by you, Divine Feminine, in every sense of the word. I'm also getting that this is a connection that is perfectly symmetrical, meaning that you both embody the opposing energy very well. So essentially, you are the physical manifestation of their awakened feminine energy. And because this is an aspect of the masculine that's oftentimes hidden, they may feel a lot of shame around this area, so it's heavily suppressed. So if you've ever wondered why they have such an intense reaction to everything that you do, this is why. You represent the side of them that they have been repressing for a very long time. You are like the catalyst to them awakening a very important aspect of their being and helping them to bring this into balance. 
I'm also getting that they're very attentive to how you express yourself. Even if they don't know how to respond in that moment, they never ever forget what you say to them. There's like this genuine interest in who you are, Divine Feminine as a whole, okay? And this is happening to them in a way where they feel like they can't really shake you, even if they try to in the past, okay? I'm getting timeless as well. So there's something very timeless about you and your energy. You make them question their own idea about what love is and how it's supposed to feel over time. You created this dynamic with them where it, your connection never feels old, okay? Which is really the deciding factor in how they feel about you. The feminine energy I'm tapping into is highly magnetic, but in a way that they may find a little strange, okay? Like if you were to see your life from the outside looking in and see how your person is viewing you, they're shocked how you naturally can kind of draw things to you and how you garner a lot of attention everywhere you go. You have this way of connecting to everything and everyone around you, and it makes you incredibly attractive to them, okay? It also makes them see you as someone much deeper than the person that they love because they know that someone like you is very hard to come by. So this is highlighting your person's attraction to you on a subconscious level, okay? And this is important because the subconscious energy picks up on things that are so deeply ingrained in ourselves that we do them without even thinking about why. This is definitely a confirmation that you were chosen for your person. And this level of attraction in your connection is something that is divinely guided and very personal to the both of you in a way that you can't really deny. And this truth, okay, will continue to be expanded over time. So your person wants you to know at this time, not only do they love you, they actually like you, okay? When this card comes out, it means that your person is absolutely attracted to you on every single level, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. The next message we have is souls don't meet by accident. Yeah, this is a very, very powerful connection that I'm tapping into. And if you're resonating with this message so far, this 7-7 seven, seven portal is about to reveal something very fascinating about your connection, okay? Because I'm getting something about soul recognition very clearly. But what's interesting is that this energy feels very grounded as well. So this is picking up on the spiritual and physical alignment of your connection. If your masculine were to be 100% honest with you, there's a deep level of exposure that they are subject to just by loving you, divine feminine. This could be a connection that from their perspective felt almost impossible to navigate. So much so that your person was always carrying this underlying energy of doubt when it comes to you. But they're about to find out that souls don't meet by accident, okay? The energy coming through with this card is so powerful. It's almost as if a higher power is coming through and letting you know that your masculine is someone who easily attracted all different types of feminine energy toward them. So there's a much deeper reason why they can't really place you in the same category as, as everyone else. And it's because there's a particular process when it comes to divine alignment. And this is what's being highlighted here. You may not be aware of this, but your masculine soul or their higher self knew exactly how to find you in the physical realm. So everything about you resonates with them. And this is a very grounded energy. So although there's a certain essence that you carry, Divine Feminine, this is also talking about the physical aspect of your connection. So your appearance, the way you speak, your sexual chemistry, all of it, everything about you is extremely magnetic to them. I hope this is coming across clearly, but it's almost as if a higher power is coming through and giving you a deeper look at how twin souls find one another in the physical, okay? And why there is 
this pressing feeling that they get when it comes to you, where they feel as if you know a little bit more about them than anyone else. It feels incredibly vulnerable. It may even make them feel exposed in many ways. And this goes deeper than you think. There are very specific things about you, Divine Feminine, that immediately let your person know who you were to them, even if they didn't understand this right away. This information is literally embedded in their cells. So it's like your person's higher self wants you to know that your person knew it would be you and they knew exactly how to find you based on how you present yourself internally and externally. So although your essence is with the spiritual aspect of their being easily identified with, their higher self also knew how you would appear physically which explains the intense physical attraction that I'm picking up on with this connection. And this is why there's sort of this sort of continuous attraction physically as well as emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. So this is why your person feels that you know too much because the level of chemistry is completely off the charts. And sometimes it feels as if you were given key information about them that makes you extremely compatible. Okay, but this is actually a very spiritual process that happens with all twin flames because essentially you are the one person in the world who knows your person from the inside out. And this is tied to their emotional needs as well as their physical needs. This feminine energy that I'm tapping into is literally everything that this masculine has ever wanted in a partner. And it makes them wonder how you were created in this way. And it's because you literally were handpicked by God for them. So you will always be in a lane of your own, okay? And your person is feeling this in a major way at this time, okay? This is definitely tapping into a very spiritual aspect of the journey here, okay? So this 7-7 portal is definitely activating the energetic bond between you and your masculine at this time. And it's really showing you what this process looks like behind the scenes for them, okay? Them really feeling as if they're trying to figure out how you are so compatible. They're trying to figure out how they are drawn to you physically, but also emotionally, spiritually, literally on every single level. And there are certain activations that happen um, that are very intentional um, and very, very divine as far as the eye contact. There are literal energetic downloads that you receive from your person when looking into their eyes, okay? Um, where your higher selves kind of come together and merge. And your person is kind of sitting back and thinking about all of the ways in which they really have opened themselves up to you, okay? or have given you a deeper level of access to them without even knowing, okay? They're realizing that none of this is by accident, it's actually by design. This is beautiful energy. Let's get the next message here. So the next message we have here is, it has to be you, yeah. Major, major confirmation, okay? Divine Feminine, I'm not sure if you are aware of this, but you have easily become the standard when it comes to feminine energy for your person. And this masculine has studied and watched you long enough to know this to be true. So this is what they say to themselves when they think of you. This is also what they say to themselves when there's any type of doubt that comes to their mind. They know it has to be you because of the qualities that you possess and also because of the level of information that you have about them. This is a masculine energy who has taken the time and energy to weigh the pros and cons of this connection and it just makes sense to them. Also, when it comes to the twin flame connection, a lot of people wonder why the energetic bond is so strong and why it lasts so long and doesn't fade out over time. And that's because there is this really deep resonance. And when you look at it on a spiritual level as well as a physical level, it's about a certain level of attraction. Because when it comes to the law of attraction, we don't get what we want, okay? 
you only get what you are vibrationally. So this is how people manifest physically in your life. It's almost as if this is highlighting the selection process and how this cannot be altered no matter what happens in the physical realm. You are literally the feminine embodiment of their energetic makeup. So basically no one compares to you. You automatically become this highlighted energy in your person's life and you will literally remain this way for a lifetime. So there's nothing you need to do but exist and your person would still feel such a heightened reaction to you. This is how the journey is designed. So there's no confusion about who you are and what this is. And at this time, there's something happening in your connection that is reaffirming this to your person. And depending on how energetically bonded you are at this time, you may be feeling this as well. Your souls are literally pulling on one another. And this is causing a massive shift in the physical realm, okay? Yeah, something is definitely happening from the inside out. Um, this 7-7 portal is all about just a heightened level of awareness. Really tapping into that crown chakra energy and really bonding with your person on such a deeper spiritual level, okay? This is about soul activation. And depending on where you are on your journey, a lot of this will be manifesting into the physical, okay? Let's get the last message here. Wow. The last message we have here is sacred exchange. Yeah. So this connection that I'm tapping into is extremely sacred, okay? Very, very sacred. And when you are in a twin flame connection, the universe will do everything in its power to keep you connected. The universe will use signs, symbols, numbers to communicate with you because when it comes to the masculine energy in general, a lot of their interactions can be very surface, especially when it comes to feminine energy. And this is used as some form of protection. So they subconsciously create a barrier between you and their heart space, even if they're not aware that they're doing this. But you are absolutely stepping into a timeline where there's gonna be less ego and more heart space. This 7-7 seven, seven portal is tapping into the truth and expanding what is true to you and your person on a soul level. So there will be many sacred exchanges taking place that are gonna give you and your person a deeper sense of love and connection. And I feel like this reading is getting you prepared for that. So essentially anything that was ego-based that was acting as a barrier to your connection is slowly being removed so that you can see one another clearly. This is why a higher power is coming through and letting you know that souls don't meet by accident, okay? You came into this realm with an extensive understanding of exactly what you were looking for from the inside out. And as it pertains to the spiritual energy behind this, everything about it is intentional. So if you were wondering how your person is feeling right now, the ego was acting as a layer of protection, but it was also blocking a path to their heart space. And that is changing collectively with the masculine energy. The energy of love is building rapidly because this is vital to our well-being. Love is not something that we want, okay? It's something that we need to live full lives. And if you resonate with this message, you and your person have a connection that is so powerful that just you being with one another changes the energy wherever you are, okay? But I'm also picking up on this underlying energy of doubt. This reading is definitely giving you a closer look at your person's internal process that they're going through right now. They're no longer afraid to explore their internal feminine energy, which has kind of been suppressed. So when they say they like you, they're speaking to an aspect of themselves that you embody physically. And this is how they easily identify you, which sends all types of signs and signals and lets them know that it has to be you, okay? Your person is remembering. 
which is a very powerful process of spiritual awakening because you literally have to unlearn a lot of the things that have been embedded in you in order to accept a new reality. And this connection literally becomes a new reality for your person because there is a very deep energetic healing happening here, okay? And this is really helping your person identify what's going on inside of them and seeing how it relates to you in this connection, why you have such a deeper level of access, why you know so much, and also why you were presented to them in the way that you were. This is very, very strategic, okay? <laughs> this is a connection that is handcrafted by God. And so when you appeared on your person's path, you came as every single thing that they love, what they are attracted to physically. This is how their soul knew how to find you in the physical, okay? So your person is remembering there are a lot of layers that are being shed, okay? That were being upheld by your person's ego. And so this is a very, very beautiful energy that we're stepping into. And I feel like this is going to continue to expand. This 7-7 seven, seven portal is just really, you know, ushering this connection into something that is going to be so powerful um, and so beautiful over time. Okay. And as long as the heart space stays open, this energy will continue to reveal more and more to them over time about your connection and also the higher purpose that you both serve in one another's lives, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and end the reading here. If you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on the way out. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.